Hello, my name is Jerry Hatherley and I'm a volunteer at the Discovery Center Archives. For the upcoming issue of Muskoka Reflections, I've written some short profiles of historic bridges and locks in the area. All of these structures were first built at least 100 years ago, and they all played an essential role in opening up the district and making it easier for people to travel around Muskoka. Local residents and cottagers will probably be acquainted with most of them, but there may be some that you aren't so familiar with. While these profiles cover the basic facts, I hope that readers are inspired to learn more about these historic structures and possibly even visit some of them. They're all located on the water and accessible to boaters, of course, so you might consider making one of them a destination for a day trip this summer. These sites are all worth seeing and some of them are quite unique, such as the Big Shoe Marine Railway. This rail railway was uh, the last of its kind in North America and was really only preserved out of a concern to maintain a barrier between Georgian Bay and the Trans-Severn Waterway. Although the structures that we see today have been upgraded and modernized over the years, I hope that these profiles will give the readers a glimpse of their long history and a sense of how important they were to the development of Muskoka.